Hello Maria. <laughs> Hello Theo. What do you want? I don't know. Okay, You're so I have to choose for so you. Go ahead. Yeah. You want a lighter color? Yeah, I'd rather have a lighter than a darker because yeah. I just had Because a it's one. summertime already. And it's summertime. And yeah, it's cuter. 25 <laughs> degrees plus in yeah. Holland. So. It's better than in Spain. No, it's 26 <laughs> today, but yeah, very nice. In Spain nice. it's 15 now at the Yeah, moment. I heard, so yeah. But we're not uh, broadcasting the weather. No. Will you turn for you and the rest of yeah. the world to show yeah. what you have now? Thank you very much. Yeah. Your friends on YouTube, I couldn't do Maria's hair. And uh, it will be a summer pixie hairstyle. Ultra feminine, so not uh, clipper shaped, but short. And I give her a nice blonde color, so she don't have to worry about the sun anymore. Because when you have a light color, you can go outside without destroying your color. Yeah, and wash it several times without it fading. It never fades. <laughs> of course, I start with wetting the hair. On this hairstyle, I start uh, on the back. On the skull bone apart, over the center line, I take a center line down. I will work with uh, my hot razor. It's a product from the States made by Echo. Ask Echo.com. And there will be a new hot scissor available by Jaguar. It's uh, around the 15th this month. So, for all those who want to know, what a hot scissor is and what it does, you can have a new one because now they are not on the market anymore, but they will be. Starting on the center, working from be below up to the skull bone, create nice soft lines. Maria has a wonderful skull, a lot of volume on the back, so I can use this volume to create a wonderful hairstyle. Take about every time a centimeter and work the style up. The nice thing about the hot uh, razor is that it works very gently on the hair, you don't feel pulling. It is uh, 190 degrees and it seals the ends, so they will be staying closed for about 4 months. Now from about uh, a centimeter or two below the skull bone, I thin out with my knife, the neckline, and create an ultra soft neckline. Thin it out. Let it do under the skull bone, so make a soft connection on both lines. And you can already see how wonderful the shape of her skull is. And working with a knife, I know that it will be ultra feminine. I wetted it in between because I need some water on the hair. And you can also hear the hissing of the blades. When you listen carefully, the underlines I take off because they lay in the other directions, so they break down the lines that I'm trying to create. This is my first line, so now I get, get up, part about two, two and a half centimeters, 
Now you see the difference between the length. Air in the natural fall on the skull bone. Part, my first part that's behind the ear. Set away the hairs. And that I connect on, on the lines. New part on it. And this I lay in the rounding of the skull. So I start thinning out and then I create the length that I want, laying it over the skull bone. Work in an angle. I love to work in this angle because it's a natural angle. It's the same as our eyebrow bone is. So I love to work in natural shapes. First thin it out with the tip of my knife. And then I'm going to create a length. Correct the line with the tip of my knife. And so I do the back. Creating short, wonderful lines. Work till I get on the center of the skull bone. Again, lay the hair in a natural fold. Take the same line as I parted. Start on top. First with the tip of my knife. And then in the rounding, I lay the hair. And of course I do this on both sides. You see how wonderful short this neckline is and how wonderful nat natural the lines are. Now I'm parted the hair behind the ear to the center of the skull. Start on the right side. Find my guide. Now I gently work this line in by thinning. do this a little bit in a moon shape. So I take it up in a curve. It should be playable on the back because I love short hair. But as you already know when you watch more videos of mine. No, yeah, it's all short. No, it's not <laughs> all short, but there's a lot of short hair. But the nice thing about short hair is that you have to cut something. Pick it up, watch where my guideline is, it's here. Watch at the shape of the skull and work in that shape. And lay the hairs there where I want them to lay. I so create myself a nice rounding and a nice natural fold to the hair. Do this of course on both sides. Go back to the line where I parted between the, the back behind the ear and on the ear and the hairs on the ear I connect to the line I created on the back. Just gently lay them in the natural form. Then I go to the front work in the opposite lines Pulling the hair to the back, knowing where I ended, and gently work the hairs down, creating a nice soft fold to the hair. I 
I have to be aware of the fact that the knife is 190 degrees for her ears because they, they <laughs> don't like it when you come to the front, work in the eyebrow line, creating a nice soft line. This will be, will be a style you don't have to style it every morning. Just stand up, put a little water in it, move it around. You can use a little bit of wax or gel. In summertime I would use a wax. All in the lines, ultra soft. Take the upper hair on it. Start in the back. Watch at the rounding of the skull. Uh, I'll see if I can show you that. I'm gonna show you the way I watch at it. Take the hairs up, holding my comb in the chin line. Start at the back, watch at the skull, and in the lines of the skull I lay the hair. Create some playable effect on the front by over pulling it in directions of fall. So this will also make some different lengths and this will make it more playable. But still wonderful shot. Coming to the left side, taking the hairs to the back. This is only the part on this line I parted from the back to the front. Now working to the front, laying the hairs to the back and working the opposite lines. creating nice soft lines. Coming on the upper hair, this I just twist and that with my hot knife I peel it down. So I'm certain that I have a playable effect on top. sees out like a little flower but when you bring it out you can see that it falls in the natural falls there's a wonderful structure turn it around the opposite lines and on the center of the skull I work it out This gives you a lot of movement to the hair. Just work till I have no longer hairs left. Now come to the up, upper center of the skull. So there. I take the hairs a little bit to the back. Take a new line. Take it in a twist. Lay it out. Work all the hairs to that center. 
So I keep some length at the front. Now I've got me a wonderful natural fold of hair, wonderful structure. Now I only have to do the front. Coming to the front, take the hairs up and just gently lay them in the length I want them to lay. Not making hard lines because it's a nice soft pixie. Very, very beautiful hairstyle for summertime. No worries at all. And the first color I'm going to create on her is a, a bit natural highlighting blonde. And then I will see if I need some new effects in it to create some more movement in it. That's the first thing I'm going to do. <laughs> this was the cutting. Put a cape. Uh protection for covering, it's a water resistant cape. It's always to use my plastic foils, you know that by now. I made her a color of uh, infinity. It's a 12-0-S, it's a highlighting series. And on top of that, in the movements of the hair, I will lay uh, in the same time uh, highlights. So that I do with a bleach. The, the um, uh, highlight of the 12-S series is uh, with 9% uh, sturdy volume. I put a deep conditioner in, I always do. And the bleach I made is uh, from um, Hermix. It's a blue bleach. I made it also with 9% uh, sturdy volume. And also there I put a uh, deep conditioner in. First we'll work the hairs to the back. Then to the upper lines. So I put the highlights on. Okay, with a, a large feet come. I lay some lines in the hair. I lay the hair a bit in the natural fold. You see that the highlight is working ultra fast. It's a wonderful series, the 12 series, 12 S series. We used a lot. Is it already getting lighter? It's already getting lighter. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Now on top of that, I do my bleach. We'll zoom into that. Take some bleach. Lay it on the hair. And this is protected by the highlight that's beneath it. Because the highlight is a lighting color. It's no, uh, not damaging the hair. Uh, bleach could do more damage to the hair because it takes out a lot of moisture, it takes out a lot of uh, the strength of the hair. But when you lay it on the highlight versions, your hair is more protected, so it gives a better result and it is more in line of the colors you are creating. And you just lay it on top in a playable effect. Just following the lines, I just pull in with my comb. Uh, maybe afterwards we also going to create some creative colors also on this line. To create even more fun in it. This I cover up with a cotton wig. So the bleach can rise up. Don't, don't go in. That I cover up with a plastic foil, don't need heat on it. I wait for 30 minutes, rinse it out, and then I'm back to show you the end result. Close my wonderful plastic foil. Try to explain you how to do that. Take both sides, leave them in the neckline, below the collar and below the hairs. Make a knot on the front, two times, not two. Hard, 
take the right side, you bring it over to the left side, take the left side over to the right side, secure the hair, the plastic foil, on the back of it, her head, lay it to the front, secure on the front, lay it back, and here I make my new knot on it. So I have it covered all, all. and now we come to wake. Okay, we're back from coloring. So you see it's a nice gold tone. So now I'm um, drying it and then I will uh, give a new color of pipes on it. So I give some red elements in it. But first I have to dry it to see the structure again. And the hair is in a wonderful condition. We didn't do anything to make it better. Just rinse it out. It's a wonderful summer color. It don't have to be totally dry to put the pipes on because uh, then you can see more better the movements of the hair. When you dry it totally, you don't see the moves anymore. Vibes. Vibes is from Lanza. They bring it on the market. They have a range of colors and they're totally new and wonderful to work with. You can mix them and with the clear you can make it as transparent as you want. So now I work with a straight red tone on it and not the other tones so because yellow tones would bring, um, the goldish yellow tones bring down the colors of blue. It could be a, red, a green but I don't like green on this pixie. So I just bring in some small parts of red to make in some playable elements. They are packed it in this kind of boxes and these tubes and they are straight colors so you can bring them on without uh, developing. And the nice thing about straight colors is you can see where you lay them. Just gently bring in some playable elements. This has to stay on for 50 minutes then just rinse out. 15 or 15? 15 minutes. Okay. It's not a highlighter, it's just the color. And it adapts of course on the tones that are laying beneath it. So when it's the goldish tone it will be a little bit uh, yeah, copper red tone. So you don't see outro of it. Okay, and then I'll be back again. Uh, <laughs> take me to the green! Or pink. Pink! Wonderful pink. We'll do pink in uh, autumn. Awesome. It's the best time to do pink tones. Okay. All I just said is that it stays on for 50 minutes. Then we we'll rinse it out. With the tip of a small comb, I comb the product through the ends of the hair. And we'll be back in 15 minutes to show you the end result. Okay, we're back from uh, the new vibe color that is put on the gold tone she had already. And now I'm going to dry it. I will uh, use new products of uh, Headway Rover Hair. I love them a lot. And in her case, I will use a curly product because I want to create some more moist into there. So that's why I use a curly product. Smells nice. Yeah, it always does. I'll dry it just with the use of my hands. Softly pulling the hair because then I can get more uh, shape into the hair. 
and the style will be stronger. The strength you put in is also what you can get out of it. When you don't give it strength, it just hangs flat on the head. For those among you who want uh, colors to be even uh, less goldish, you can always put a green tea on it. You do that on dry hair, you set a strong tea, green tea, and that you put on your hair and just dry. When you want a goldish effect, you can use an English tea or a Earl Grey. And the best way to make it is with a mineral water. Does the green tea make it lighter or no, only no, less yellow? No, it takes out the uh, ready stones. Okay. Sofa blow drying. Now of headway I use uh, soft wax. It's a wonderful product. It's an ultra soft wax. Make it warm between my fingers. And just play with there. Als je daar zo'n lang staartje hangen, ja, zo'n vlekje. Ja. Toen er pebbles was. Ja. En <laughs> voor so far, cutting and styling of this wonderful summer spring hairstyle, that's called the Pixie. Van oh, Maria. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Maria, will you turn for you and the rest of the world to show the end result? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're